Hey sexy sociologist, sorry it's been a while, Christmas marks, blah blah blah, you get the picture. Anyway, this week we're going to look at laboratory experiments and field experiments, primarily the strengths and weaknesses of each. So Rachel, what are these so called laboratory and field experiments? I have no idea. What? Um, good question random moustache dude. Wow. Well, moustache man, if you really want to know, a laboratory experiment is an experiment conducted in a carefully controlled atmosphere. All the variables are controlled, or at least most of them are, and it's very speci- it's a very specific environment, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Yes. Laboratory experiments are used mostly by positivists who prefer a more controlled, quali- quantitative, 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 I think, quantitative or quantitative, quantitative, set of data. Field experiments are just experiments done in the outside world. I don't go there, it's, you need to socialise out there. Um, off track, anyway, it's, it's done in the more outside world, outside of controlled decisions, so not all the variables are controlled. Field experiments are done mostly by interpretive bits who um, prefer the unstructured, qualitative qualitative, uh, type of research and data. Yes! Okay, now that you know a bit about each type of experiment, let's go through the strengths and weaknesses of each. Hold on to your hats, guys! Yeah! Okay, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I'll give you five strengths and five weaknesses of each and go through the main keywords you need to know so you understand what I'm actually saying. Okay, let's go through the strengths of lab experiments first. Okay, duh, here we go. Number one, it isolates all the variables so you only look at the specific things you actually need to look at. Jolly good! Okay. Number two, it is scientific, so let's be honest, more people would agree and listen to it more. Number three, it is objective and bias free. Objective basically means it's free from any consequences, emotions, I think, something like that. Uh, Number four, it allows for correlation, which means you can see cause and effect. So it's like if something happened, this would surely follow. And lastly, it is reliable. Now, reliability means that if one person did a an experiment, then another person who did the experiment, they should get the exactly the same results. Now to go over the weaknesses of laboratory experiments. Number one, they're not valid. Um, I'll go through what valid means later, but all you need to know for now is that they're not. Uh, number two, uh, The cost of them can be quite expensive. Number three, they can be quite time consuming. Number four, uh, it does um, have many ethical issues. The ethical issues I'll go through in another video because it will take a while to explain all the ethical issues. And number five is the Hawthorne effect. This is basically when the respondents act differently or feel self-conscious because they know they are being observed. Yes. And now it's time for the strength of the field experiments. First of all, uh, they are quite easy to generalise. Um, the Hawthorne effect does not um, apply because most of the time the people don't know they're being watched. Uh, it's more respectful to um, humans most of the time because in like lab experiments they're like treated as robots rather than actual human beings. Uh, it is valid, which means um, you go the the participants can go into a lot more depth and emotion, and you just get a lot more detail with it, which allows you to make more predictions. And yeah, that was a terrible explanation, but you get the gist. Hopefully, the weaknesses of field experiments do include some of the points I mentioned before in the. Um, weaknesses of lab experiments, for example, the time and money, like it will take a lot of time and a lot of money, you get the gist of that, um, there's also quite a few ethical issues like no consent, but once again I will go over that in another episode, and 
The most important one when it comes to field experiments is that um, you can't control the variables. Like for example, you could be testing, ooh, what would happen if uh, da, 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 and the variables you're looking at are um, colours and make I don't, oh, I, yeah, you look at it. For example, screw it, find your own example, I can't speak. Well that's as good a time as any to end that video because I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm sorry, I hope you learned something guys. Bye, boys.